E vamos lá, continuando aqui mais um pouco do Gator do do Rockstar Star Rail para completar mais algumas missões. Vamos ver essa daqui do que o Elch pediu para fazer. Essa daí a gente esquece também. Uh, um cavalo. Não. Marcha oito? Não. Marcha oito. Tem outro cavalo aqui. Bom. Oh. Olá. Outro spam! Por que você tá me mandando... Que negócio? E você? Como que você pegou esse nome? <risos> Ah, tô meio culpado. Tô mal. Aí, Welt, seguinte. É tudo spam. Welt. Ah, o que você tá fazendo aí em cima? Então. Aí, Welt. Seguinte. Pô, oh, é o meu, é o meu, tá mal. Que foi? Ah, o que que você quer, Felipe? Não, eu posso perguntar, né? Como eu posso saber sobre essa história? Tá, a minha compensa? Oh. Isso, isso. Brônia! Brônia, minha nega, vem. tô chegando. Não esqueci de botar o... Uhum. A few games while away the time. Bronia, 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 cadê a cela aqui? Olha aí, Bronia. Opa, tem. Ter... Pera aí. Cadê o papel, gente? Cadê o Bronia? Vai, Brani. Ah, você sabe alguma coisa sobre a história aqui desse bagulho aqui, desse lugar aqui depois do gel? <risos> é uma missão de pesquisa para o banco de dados do Expresso. Acho que uma coisa. Opa, foi mal aí. Ligação. O que foi?
Eu acabei de começar a procurar, meu Deus! Pensado. Tá, ah, continuando. Vou, vou, vou lá ver hoje o livro aí, mas valeu aí, tio. Pelo Bocrone, pelo Bocrone, isso aqui. Fala aí, campeão. Cara, é, é, tá aí perguntado, ainda tô trabalhando nisso. Tô preparando isso pra maçã. Continuar com pressão, não vai ter. Obrigado. Oi, Pela. Dois trinta e três. Eu vou chegar. Ah, esses postes aqui. Ah, tá um pouco pra perguntar. Quem foi que pintou eles? Ah. E esse daqui bonitão? Uh. Será que não foi você? Claro, eles são lindos. Por que ele tava no procur... seu procurado assim mesmo? Valeu. Ué, <risos> ótimo. Ué, ótimo, você tá aqui. Por que você não tá sentado ali no banquinho como de se você tá? Aí, ué, o que eu achei aqui foi isso daqui, ó. É importante, hein? Era muito louca que aconteceu antes do gelo. Meu Deus! Era chato. Posso bloquear você? Tá, mas eu já terminei de encontrar aqui, tá? Tá, ah, eu fiz o que eu pude. Meu Deus, o quê? Pô, já tem um, foi mal aí. É, eu moro, eu, eu conheço lá. Nasci lá praticamente. Bloqueado. Bloqueado. Ah, está. É. <coughs> Garanto fácil. Muito triste. Aí, Asta. Seguinte. É que isso aqui é o que você tava pedindo aí, que eu encontrei um desses. E aí? Quiser? O que, que o Fred tava fazendo lá? Fred!
É, agora vamos. Clara? Claro, seu, seu não dá uma receita. Ah. Claro, seu, seu não me dá uma receita, então claro. Ah, opa. Tá, eu tô completando a. Tem um pentelinho pra subir. O pentelinho não foi não. Eu vou ganhar mais 700. Daí vai. Poxa, já faltou muito. Clara! Olha, ah, eu não entendi o que tá acontecendo. Eu já terminei esse evento. Depois tem que ir pano, cara. <risos> Clara! Cheguei! You, Pascal, very like Clara. <risos> Good boy, Pascal. Based on the information gathered, it is recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network so that he doesn't threaten the property or safety of the camp's residents. I know this is the most sensible option, but Pascal... Thanks to Clara's hard work, the repairs were completed successfully. Yes. The little fella is alive and well again. It's just that some parts aren't completely back to normal yet. Pascal, don't be. Mr. Sparg and I spent a long time coming up with a beautiful <clears throat> name. You, Pascal, good. I am called Name. Oh, look. Pascal is greeting you. It's just, his speech is still a little confusing. The examination conducted earlier revealed that the information stored in this robot's core module is incompatible with the new hardware. Furthermore, many defective networks were detected in the core module. A significant amount of muddled information with unknown content was discovered during a deep scan. Simply put, Pascal's brain is filled with junk information of unknown origin. This junk, along with hardware that's incompatible with his core, caused him to lose his ability to communicate. Fortunately, apart from the language module, Pascal is still functioning properly. However, the robot still has a 44.7% chance of malfunctioning. It's recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network. Mr. Sparag, I understand, but I think Pascal is different. He possesses a quality that other small robots don't have. In some ways, I believe he's similar to Mr. Sparag. I can't overlook this unique quality. Mr. Sparag, could you give me a little more time? I want to investigate this further. If we don't find anything, you can integrate Pascal into the network. Understood, Clara. I respect your wish. In the meantime, I'll make sure that this robot doesn't endanger other people or property. Oh. Tá, o que a gente tem que fazer agora? Discuss with Mr. Sparag earlier. Let's begin by doing exactly what we did before. Find a new shell, put Pascal's core in it, and see if the hardware is compatible. According to the analysis, Pascal's original hardware was a direwolf or grizzly model. If we can put its core into the appropriate shell, there's an 87.3% chance that its language module will return to normal. There are all kinds of abandoned robots in the machine graveyard. Let's go take a look. Vamos lá. Vamos lá para o cemitério das máquinas.
Um trocar o peixe. Pum, 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 pum. Everywhere you look, there are robots that have lost. Hey, big sister, take a look over there. <laughs> Show no mercy. Pegar com o barulho desse assim, não parece o barulho de clicar no lugar errado no Windows. Battles are chess. This hey. is an automaton direwolf, but it appears to have been modified. It's most likely another abandoned robot pet. Although it doesn't seem to be functioning, you should still be cautious when approaching it. Deixa comigo, eu carrego ele. I'll tuck the corn a little tighter so it doesn't fall out. Eu tu vai levar o núcleo também? Its core isn't just scrap metal. It should be repairable. I can't let any robot go to waste if it can be repaired. So, I'm going to try to fix them all. A gente vai consertar o Pascal ou esse daqui? Pascal. We found him first after all. Also, like Mr. Sparrow warned, if he's not supervised, he might cause trouble. You know, I have a large safe full of core modules that I've gathered around the underworld. Every day, I try to figure out how to repair some of them and return the robots to normal. Except There are a lot more than Mr. Sparg and I can handle on our own. But I'm sure I can fix them all one day. We can't relax yet. We must work harder. Thank you. It makes me happy to hear that. Ah, uh, I was talking so much that I totally lost track of time. Let's head back. Otherwise, Mr. Sparg and Pascal will get worried. Ah, eu teleportei para aqui. Oi, oi, Pascal. Mr. Sparg, we're back. Welcome back. Return. Clara. Rivet. Fail. You're... Welcome back, Clara. I've completed my further analysis of this robot. Okay, It is impossible to determine the time of manufacture, purpose, and ownership of this robot. 
During my analysis, I extracted the robot's serial number and searched for it in the Underworld's automaton database. According to my search, there are 32 automatons with the same serial number as this one. Even after eliminating the scrapped ones, three automatons still match the keyword description. Failure. Three. There yeah. once was a ship that... Rivet one. Fail. Here. É a possível diminuir o número de resultados. complete. Conclusion. Search results cannot be narrowed down any further. The three automatons that match the keyword descriptions are located in Voltamerville, Rivet Town, and Forge Town. All three of these mining towns have been abandoned, and no automatons have been discovered in these three sites recently. It appears that the trail has gone cold yet again. Tempering. Tempering. Back. Back. Back to Rivet! Fire! Fire! Pascal is becoming increasingly unstable. We should change his shell. Thank you. Pascal, I'm going to change your shell. Don't worry, it won't hurt. Watch out, Clara. Failure, 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 failure. Pascal? No, he's running away. Clara. Pascal, did he run off towards Rivet Town? Let's follow him. No, Clara, just leave it to me. I'll order the robots to pursue this one. No, Mr. Svarog, please don't. Please leave Pascal to me. It was my decision to keep him in the first place, so I must take full responsibility. I'm certain Pascal won't do anything to harm anyone. But if something goes wrong, please let me handle this myself. Please, Mr. Svarog. Deixa a Clara ajudar. Deixa a Clara fazer isso. That's Cara. right. This all started with me and can only end with me. Oh. I'm certain Pascal would never do anything to harm anyone. Clara, please tell me how you came to this conclusion. Pascal possesses a quality that other small robots lack. It's kind of similar to the emotions we humans have. I've only ever seen this quality in Mr. Svara. I feel a warmth from these emotions. I feel drawn to this quality and try to respond to it in my own way. But I'm also aware that not all emotions in this world are positive. If there are too many negative emotions that go unchecked, then someone needs to step in and stop them. The only things that can stop such negative emotions are rationality and responsibility. This is a valuable mm -hmm. lesson I've learned from Mr. Svara. Mr. Svarov, I want to help Pascal overcome those negative emotions. No. I want to take on this responsibility. That way, I won't have to hide behind Mr. Svarog anymore. I understand. <gasps> I support this decision. <laughs> I won't intervene unless the situation risks spinning out of control. Thank you, Mr. Svarog. So, let's go. Vamos lá. Uh, acho que eu vou pra ele. Lá pra Rivet está o Meu Deus. Deixa 
open? Not even a full special. Oh. Pascal, who did this to you? Pain, hurt, pain, hurt, pain, hurt, hurt, pain. Clara, get away. This is a fragmentum creature. It's extremely dangerous. A fragmentum creature? What are you talking about? Request approved. Reanalyzing. Reanalysis complete. The original assessment stands. This is a fragmentum creature and is thus extremely dangerous. Could it have malfunctioned? It appears to be normal. Please step back. I shall eliminate this fragmentum creature. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. It's going to attack Pascal. We have to stop it. Hey. Oh. Oh, oh no! It seems to think we're its enemies as well. You're in trouble now. <laughs> hmm. so, show no mercy. Don't do this next. Conflict is pitiless. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. It's time. Follow my charge. Here is thunder. Show no mercy. I don't remember any of it. Luckily, the patrol robot and Pascal's cores are still intact. The big fella shell is only slightly dented. Thank you for your help. The only thing that puzzles me is why the big fella mistook Pascal for a fragmentum creature. Hmm. I can't figure it out. Well, let's not worry about that now. Anyway, I'll take this core back and examine it. Now. Let's insert Pascal's core into the big fella's shell. Language module. Connect. Connecting. Connection. Complete. Testing. Verifying. All modules. Working. Connected. Welcome back, everyone! Finally! Pascal has been waiting. Pascal, you're back to normal! Ah, mas por que você tava mandando peças? Thank you for reminding me. <coughs> Pascal, could you please. Uh. Explain why you were stealing parts? Collecting parts. Returning to workshop. Workshop? Oh, do you mean the tempering workshop in Rivet Town? Then waiting. Repair. Follow, please. Pascal! Ah! Uh, Pascal ran off! Vou matar ele. Que direção? Não quero. I think this place used to be a restaurant. One time, I found a bunch of canned food here. <laughs> the vagrants in the camp were so happy. However, I've always wondered the light here. Why is it still on? This place has clearly been abandoned for a long time. Also, there's dust all over the place, but none of the equipment appears to be deteriorating. 